What are you doing? Reading, buddy. Really? How interesting. What is your book about? Why are you reading it? Why is your book about? Why are you reading it? It's about brachiosauruses. I'm reading it because Kimi and Ricardo were coming over to do a school project on, well, brachiosauruses. Gotta get back to reading. Really? Guess what mom bought me at the store. Come on, guess. Guess, please. Okay, fine. Bubblegum? Chocolate bar. Comic book. Army man? New mittens? I don't know. I give up. This. A whoopee cushion? <laughs> I love my new whoopee cushion. I'm going to use it in my new magic trick. Okay, Track, I gotta get back to work now. Thanks, Mom, you're the best. Okay, Track, I'm... Brachiosaurus! That was you? Wow. Dino Dan! for you and your friends. Whoa. Yeah. He's leaving. Whoa. That's some powerful gas. But I wonder how powerful. Better do some more reading. Oh, inside. Again? Ah, got ya. Oh, I'll get it. What is that? Hey, guys. Wow. Great Brachiosaurus mask, Ricardo. Thanks. You know, they didn't call them long necks for nothing. Hey, Kami. Hey, Dan. I'm totally excited about our dinosaur project. Let's get started. Cool. Come on. Do I smell tarts? What else can we say about the bronchiosaurus? I love my whoopee cushion. Not what I was thinking, but tell me more. Excuse me, I'm practicing my new magic trick. <laughs> Guys, just try to ignore it. Well, it says here the brachiosaurus was a herbivore, a plant eater, and it was one of the biggest land animals ever. That's true. Brachiosaurus was huge. And look, it was three stories tall. And it had a long neck and tail. It says here it was longer than five cars put together. True. And look, it weighed as much as 70 cows. Seventy cows? That's humongous. <laughs> How are we gonna show that? Track. Look, we're trying to get work in here. So am I. The new part of my magic trick. Starts off with a giant... Chart! You could use a, a chart to show how big the Bacchosaurus was. Brachiosaurus. And that's a good idea. Come on, Magician's assistant. Oh. Let's get back to my trick. Did you guys hear that Corey's group is building a giant octopus suit? <laughs> An octopus suit? That's hilarious. Hmm, what besides our mask can we make? Damn, what's like totally amazing and weird about the Brachiosaurus? I mean, besides the fact that it was one of the largest land animals ever? Well, it, um, Trek. What? Trek, you're a genius. That's it. Guys, that's 
how we can make our presentation amazing. You want to know something that's totally awesome about the Brachiosaurus, right? Well, the Brachiosaurus was so massive that it made massive gas. Possibly more gas than any other living thing ever. Wow, Gasosaurus. You know what else? Some herbivores, like the Brachiosaurus, made so much gas that some paleontologists think their gas helped wipe out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. So, you're saying herbivore gas is the reason there are no more dinosaurs? That is the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Dan, you can't be serious. Gas is behind the extinction of dinosaurs. It's one theory. What's a theory? A theory is an idea that hasn't been proven to be true. At least not yet. Oh, hey, Trent, can I borrow your because you're for school tomorrow? Sure thing, Dan. But not yet. Still practicing my new magic trick. So, how did gas wipe out the dinosaurs? Too smelly. Not really. But big dinosaurs like the Brachiosaurus. It's so much gas that changed the weather. Oh, it must make the atmosphere warmer. Oh, don't worry, guys. It's just from Trek's smoke machine. What exactly is this new magic trick? It's called the African Dougie. He's fake smoke to make it look like Doug's appearing in thin air. Neat, but what's the whoopee cushion for? Mother, she never wrote the access So, what happened after the dino gas made the atmosphere of the Earth warmer? Well, the theory is that the weather on Earth changed and the dinos couldn't handle it, so they became extinct. I'm never going to look at gas the same way again. Totally, but how are we going to include that theory in our presentation? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Trek, you're a genius. The smoke machine. Yeah! The mighty octopus squirts the shark and dolphin with a tank. Squirt! Squirt! Ah! When the octopus squirts its ink at its predators, the animal is trying to eat it. Its ink makes it so that we can't follow him and lets him get away. Mm -hmm. Yay, mighty octopus! Ninja of the sea! <laughs> thank, thank, thank you! you. Thank, thank you! you. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Oh. And, uh, Ricardo, you're up. Uh, what's that for? A presentation. Can you press this button when I do this? Okay. This is a Brachiosaurus. The Brachiosaurus is a sauropod. Sauropods are a group of dinosaurs with really long necks, like a giraffe. Sauropods walked on four giant legs and lived over 130 million years ago. There are many different kinds of sauropods. One of them is called the Diplodocus. The difference between the Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus is that the Diplodocus had the longest tail ever, but Brachiosaurus, he was larger. He one of the largest sauropods to ever walk the earth. I was the largest ever! Yes, but is he the ninja of the sea? And I weighed as much as 70 cows! <laughs> I was so big that I made giant gas! <laughs> He's cooler than a ninja. And I made a lot of it, too. In fact, I made gas pretty much all the time, non-stop. The gas that me and my herbivore friends made may have even helped wipe out the dinosaurs because we had the biggest fun. Start. It, it won't start, Dan. Ever! It's crazy, but true. Some paleontologists think that the dino gas helped wipe out the dinosaurs. Now, imagine our classroom is the atmosphere of the Earth. And this smoke is the dino gas, making it hotter and hotter. Oh, it's so hot. I can't breathe. But it's just a theory. One, two, three. The, the end. Dan, I can't get the smoke machine to stop. Someone, open a window. I'll do oh. it. Oh, help. No, Cory, Cory, watch out. Don't hit the... Thanks, buddy. No, Cory, watch out! Don't... Oh. <laughs> Great job, guys. Oh, that dinosaur had some massive farts. <laughs> uh, I mean, gas.